Hi, I'm Victor, and in this video, I'm going to be covering Paramount. This is the company that does Paramount Plus streaming. It owns CBS. It also owns Paramount Studios. It puts out a lot of really good movies. I'd like to tell you more about this company and what I value the company at and what my plan as an investor is going forward. I like three things in an investment. First, I want a discount. I want to know that I'm going to see some upside in the stock. Two, I want to know that the company is operating and performing well. And third, I want to know that it's a good time to buy a particular stock. Let's take a look at Paramount. So Paramount announced their earnings uh, early today. Today is uh, May 3rd, 2023. And there's some good stuff in it and some questionable stuff in it. Let me get to the questionable stuff first. Is Their revenue is flat, which is a little bit of a disappointment. It'd be nice to see them grow, but they are flat from a revenue standpoint. And it's because their TV business, they're using, they're, they're losing some share there. Their uh, film business didn't do as well, didn't uh, generate as much income. So I think those two pieces were, were downers. Now, the piece that is really nice is the whole streaming business. The direct-to-consumer grew 82%. So that is excellent. I think if you would have seen 82% growth in streaming a year ago, uh, Paramount would be up, I don't know, 20%. But instead, uh, streaming nowadays is not as, as desired as it once was. Netflix went down big time. And um, I think that's what's holding back this stock a little bit. But I'm very happy with 82% as a stockholder. I'm looking at that number saying, these guys have a bright future and I want to be a part of it. So the last five years of this stock have had a lot of too much, a little too much drama, if I may say. They were... Uh, a part of that uh, Arkeos um, uh, fiasco where that investor bought a lot of Paramount stock, was over leveraged, his firm, his hedge fund melted down and it really caused a short term pop and then a collapse in the stock. And I think that really concerned a lot of investors. I started buying after all of that stuff happened because I really think highly of Paramount and they pay a really good dividends. So I started buying afterward. The Archegos, you know, the big meltdown, it's, you know, came back to the news. I think uh, the individuals involved are going to be uh, prosecuted for what they did. They took Viacom and uh, also Discovery through really a wild ride, which, um, you know, it doesn't really represent either company. Both companies were operating, um, you know, their businesses well. And their stock just got taken through a ride because of this hedge fund manager. But it shouldn't really be a black, a black mark on either company, in my opinion. Looking at the one year for Paramount, you'd be down 25% if you started investing a year ago. There's been a lot of opportunities to buy the, the stock at a low price. And right now, it's a good opportunity to, to buy a dip, along with a lot of other stocks. Uh, April is not kind to stocks and Paramount has been discounted quite a bit from where it used to be. I believe Paramount is fairly valued at this time. I took their most current quarter, updated the free cash flows that I expect. I also increased the discount rate since interest rates are going up and I lowered my expectation for growth. They've been growing real nicely. If you look at their last five years, 20%. If you look at year over year growth, 13%. But I took down my growth estimations uh, quite a bit. It used to be 10% uh, years one through five and then 3% for long-term, excuse me, it was 5% long-term, now it's only 3%. So I, I, I brought that down. I think it's fairly priced this time. I'm gonna be holding the stock because I think with another quarter of data and maybe this market will tell us whether it's gonna go up or down, I'll be able to make better decisions going forward. So just to recap on Paramount, their year over year growth, if you compare 2020 to 2021, was really nice, 13% growth. They have a nice free cash flow run rate of 1.4 billion. They pay a really nice dividend, but 3.24. And think about it, you have a media and entertainment company paying a nice dividend. Free cash flow yield of 7%, so they can afford to pay that dividend. And they have an incredibly low PE of 4.48. So just a lot of nice metrics there. If they grow at all, I think this stock's really gonna pop. Uh, the 2020 guidance, again, flat sales overall, which was a downer. But the, the positives were that 82% that growth in direct to consumer. Free cash flows were also a really uh, good thing to see that they're generating free cash flow. I think that the company is going to grow faster. They're going to keep paying that nice dividend. And as they really 
strengthen their business through growth, I think they're going to really um, uh, give you good up upside as an investor. So let me answer the three questions on my scorecard from Paramount. First, is it discounted? And the answer is no, not at this time. Uh, it's not discounted. I think it's uh, uh, fairly priced. I think as we get another quarter, and especially at the end of 2022, we'll see how good or bad Paramount has uh, going for 2023. The company is well operated, well performing. So I like that about the company. It's great to see that they're in the streaming space. It's great to see that their movies are really doing well. That's really good to see. The timing is not good to buy right now. I think we got to wait a little while, both for the market to tell us what it's going to do in 2022, as well as you know, what Paramount's going to do from a regard to a growth rate. If they grow, good things are going to happen for the stock. So please keep in mind that this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not recommending you buy Paramount or any other stock or security. I record these videos to tell uh, other investors about what I'm doing with uh, Paramount, and I hope you found it interesting. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, do me a favor and hit the like button if you liked uh, the content you saw. Consider subscribing if you want to see other videos like this one, and hit that bell if you want to be notified when I release a new video. Again, thank you for watching, and good luck investing in 2022.